very, very close to finishing up this, what I think is a 63 AC36 with added top boost. The top boost has been added back. You'll see that in a moment. I'm saying 63 for reasons I said in the previous videos. The video title still says 64 because that's what the owner thought it was. And that's what the title of the first video on this amp was. So sorry for any confusion there. So it's got new, new pots here because the first three meg reverse audio pot I put in here for the tremolo speed uh, was not uh, actually three meg. This one is. So now I have uh, much slower than JMI to the fastest JMI did and everything in between. And here, rather than just having the two position vibe trim switch with an internal trim pot to set the depth, it's a push pull, which does vibe trim and it uh, controls the depth with the pot. And the pot uh, is a newer, larger one meg versus the 500K, which means that you can go from nothing at all to quite deep tremolo effect or vibe effect if you wish, uh, all from the front panel. So it gives a lot more control to the player. As I mentioned, the top boost card is in place and everything came out very well, very neatly. Everything here looks great. It's got the nice shielded wires going from the volume pot to the circuit and from the output of the treble wiper to, to a ground point here and then to here where it ties back into the phase inverter input. So that's all rock solid, very nice. I have the chicken head knobs on here for the video so you can see the o'clock positions better but the owner wants me to send it back with these old ones though because he's got some chicken heads he's going to put on when he gets it back uh, but he wants to have these old ones because they're from an oahu lap steel they're still terrible quality but they're vintage terrible quality there actually is clearance here the proper amount of clearance between all this stuff and the old existing part of the amp it looks scarier than it really is i've replaced the mono foot switch jack with this shunted mono foot switch jack which means that this is the tip is grounded when nothing is plugged in. So if the foot switch is not connected, you can still have tremolo going on. It's all controlled by the top panel knob. If you connect the foot switch now, it will just turn it on and off via the foot switch. Whereas before you had to have the foot switch connected in order to hear the tremolo. I'm still waiting on the new hospital grade power cable to arrive so I can button this up. Uh, I ordered it two weeks ago. It's somewhere in the post. Fun time of year to get things. It'll get here. The amp will get buttoned up then. I'll let you hear a few things, uh, the changes to the vibe trim. I'll let you hear a hint of the top boost card now that it's working. We'll do a real playing video next week. Uh, before I start, people have asked a lot of times because they see me using these silent plug cables on the channel. And you'll see me plug the silent plug cable into an app. And people will say, hey, I thought you were only supposed to use those on the instrument end. Won't that hurt something? It won't hurt anything if you use one of these in a jack for a pedal or for a, an amp or whatever. It just won't give you the same benefit. The benefit's at the other end. This cable that I'm using has the straight silent plug at one end and the right angle at the other, depending on which guitar I'm using. I'm using the 335 today, so the right angle goes to the guitar. I get the benefits of the silent plug there. And uh, no, no harm using the straight silent plug at the other end. So hope that uh, answers some questions people have had and the Vibe Trim channel.
So that's very nice to be able to control that from the front. You can control the depth with this one, as well as whether it's fiber trim, and then the speed for, for this instead of just three positions, which are all kind of in this range, according to the pot, you have everything below that now. And the foot switch will turn that off as well, so you can do that remotely. You can leave this wherever you want it to be and then turn it on and off with your foot. The normal channel is unchanged by all the other changes that I've done. channel the normal channel there and as you turn it up it gets raunchier and if you use a uh, gain pedal whether it's just a overdrive or a boost or a you know a treble booster you can get some real real rocking sounds out of that but here here for the brilliant channel today <laughs> sounding as it ought to and you while you can get some really unpleasantly bright sounds out of this if you uh, learn how, how to tweak it between the cut circuit and the treble and how the bass and treble interact as far as the mids go you have good control over that and you can always do the trick <laughs> Anyway, that gives a preview of how things are going. Uh, no added noise from the top boost card. Doesn't get all trebly, uh, though it can have a lot of high-end bite and clarity if you want. Uh, it's just a fantastic amp. When you get to hear it for real, let me get a good player in here, set up the real mics, you'll get a sense of why people really seek these out. <laughs> 